In the wild, wild west, there was good guys, and there was bad guys, and then there was catastrophe. Catastrophe Jones, the rootinest, tootinest, highfalutinous, sharp shootinest cowboy, whatever rode the wild range. All summer long, he and his friends will be bringing their special brand of Bible lessons right here to the Bible Barn at Camp Venture. Let's head on over and learn about the wonders of God's creation. Kids, oh, it's me, Wyoming Jones, and I'm back. <laughs> now, I got an urgent letter from my big brother, Catastrophe, and he said he needed me to come right away and help teach the Bible lesson. So that's why I'm here. Oh, but first, before we do anything, we got to swear you in Camp Venture style. Oh, my. Okay, now everybody stand on your feet. Come on, stand up with me. All right, now, <clears throat> raise your right hand and repeat after me. I will love God with all my heart. I will love my neighbor as myself. And I will be a light wherever I go. Oh, good job. You can take a seat now. Oh, oh, oh I know that sound. Yo, lady. Oh, look at who it is. It's Grandmammy. Oh, howdy, Grandmammy. Well, howdy there, Wyoming. Let me get up here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Oh, I'm uh, fine. I'm uh, fine. What's, what you doing here, Grandmammy? And well, where's Catastrophe? Oh, well, Catastrophe is powerful sick. Oh, yeah, he called himself a bad case of the swamp fever. Oh, mm -hmm. So I came to do some doctoring. Oh, well, you know you always was the best at doctoring, Grandmammy. I still <laughs> am the best country doctor. You know what that Catastrophe wanted to do? He wanted to get out of his sick bed and come here to teach a Bible lesson. I said, you ain't getting out of that bed until your fever cools off. Oh, well, I know what we can do. Mm -hmm. And then we could teach the Bible lesson together. Oh. <laughs> but Catastrophe usually keeps the lesson all the way up there in that can. In that can up there? Mm -hmm. All the way up there. Oh, well, I could spit that can down with a water chewing gum. Oh. Yeah, oh, well, get out the way. Well, get out now, y'all kids, y'all get out your pretend slingshots and get ready to aim. Yeah. All right, hold on a second there, Grandmammy. Ready? Aim. Fire! Oh, that was well, nice shooting there. Well, Everybody, good shooting, kids. Did. Oh, it says Genesis chapter 2. Oh. oh, I remember <laughs> this story. I know this one. Uh, well, now, where is the Bible? Um, um. Uh, do y'all know where the Bible's at? It's in the Do you know where the, in the where? It's oh, that's right. Oh, it's in the chicken coop. I know that. Hold on, let me get out of here. Oh, oh, all these chickens. Oh, my. Oh, you got chicken is laughing at us. I know. Now, he keeps it in the chicken coop because he never wants to be chicken for sharing God's word. Oh, that is good. Oh, that's a nice one. All right, now, have a seat, grandson. Oh, all right. <clears throat> The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. Oh, I think he's talking about Adam. Oh, that was the first man that God created. Mm, and he also had the first job what God created. Well, you mean God gave man his first job? Yup. God put Adam in charge of taking care of his garden. Oh, oh you mean the Garden of Eden. Mm. Oh, man, that's beautiful work, but... Man, that's a lot of gardening. Oh, and he had another job, too. Ooh. God also brought all the animals that he had made, and Adam got to name them all. <laughs> oh, that must have been a fun job. Oh, with the duck-pilled platypi and the hippopotamuses and the dog. Oh, man, all those are sound so good. <laughs> well, it's a good thing that Adam named them instead of you. Oh, that's right, true. Oh, but... That sounds like a lot of work for one person. Well, you know what? God knew that, too. The Bible says the Lord God said it is not good for man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. Oh, that's so nice of God. He made us a friend, but mm. how did he make a helper? Well, you know, it was kind of a peculiar way of doing things. Oh. Listen here. So, the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs and closed up the place with flesh. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man, and he brought her to the man. Ooh, yowch! 
You mean he took a rib out of Adam's side? That's right. Oh. See, now, being a country doctor myself, I am familiar with this type of operation. Oh. It is called a ribectomy. Oh. And in fact, I will demonstrate for you how a ribectomy is done. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, Wyoming, you uh. lay down right here. Oh, um, on this here. Okay. Yeah, go on right here on that trunk. Good. All right, right here. Just and like let this? me get out my bone uh. saw. Uh. Oh, 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 Grandmammy, no, no, no. If you need ribs to go, you better call Bubba Lou's Delicious Barbecue. Oh, now is you sassing me, boy? Oh, no. Oh, 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 now. Hey, baby, I am very attached to these ribs. Well, that's okay. I can take care of that. Oh, oh come on oh, back here. Oh, Get over here. Oh, oh, rib police. Rib police. Oh, 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 fine, fine. You keep your nasty old ribs. Oh. I guess I'm going to have to demonstrate it another way. Okay. Yeah, I can oh, use... This here fella. Oh, oh. There he is. Good. Now, I'm gonna need you to be my nurse. Okay. So take off your hat. Okay. And you, oh, my glad. Oh, no, no, I can't well, see it all. You're gonna have a hard time seeing, but that's okay. Put on a nursey oh. hat like mine. Good. Oh, okay. Very now, nice. Now, now, God took a rib out of Adam's side, but, mm -hmm. but that must have hurt really bad. Well, yes, but you know what? It was okay because Adam was asleep the whole time. Oh. Yeah, let me show you. <laughs> Go sleep. Oh, oh, right. good. He can sleep now. <laughs> then, once he fall asleep, God pulled the rib right out of Adam's side. Whoa. <laughs> and you know what he done with that rib? He turned it into, voila, a beautiful woman. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, we did it, Grandmammy. <laughs> oh, it's a miracle. <laughs> well, we did not do a miracle. God done the miracle. We just acted it out. But God created the first man and woman, and he put them in the garden together to keep each other company and to help each other. Oh, and so they could work together. <laughs> mm, and God also made them partners in a romantic kind of way. Oh, Grandmammy, why you got to talk about that mushy junk? Well, taint me. It's God what made it a love story. The Bible says, for this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and they will become one flesh. Oh, Adam, I love you. Oh, Eve, I love you, too. <laughs> oh, <laughs> now, now, you cut that out, you two love birds. Oh, love birds. I think that might just be today's critter of the day. Oh. In fact, there's two love birds that have been nesting over here on the fence. Let me go get them. Oh, oh. there they are. Oh, oh Grandmammy, that yes. makes sense because God made Adam and Eve to be husband and wife and to be together forever. And oh. when love birds meet their mate, they're together for life. <laughs> oh, that is so romantic, it makes me feel like singing. Oh. Why don't you children teach me your Camp Critter song? Miss Katie, would you help us? Of course. But first, Grandmammy, I need you to pick somebody to oh. raise our well, camp flag. Well, I can't see very well through these glasses. How about you? Come on up here and raise that flag. All right. You can pull this. I'm right here. There you go. Pull it all the way. Hold it down. There we go. Awesome. Thank you so much. And guys, you know we got to stand up. Oh, yes. We can't do oh. this seated because right, we, we have to now. mount our horse, right? So everybody, mount Ooh. your horse. Here we go. I saw the lovers flying by. Jumped off my horse, let out a cry. When Adam closed his eyes to sleep, got the room and gave him the lovers. That song. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I think we can go faster. You want to sing that? You want to go faster? Should we go faster? <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's go faster. Let's go faster. Oh, oh. 
Yeah. Oh, come on, Grandmammy. Let's go. All right, right. Let me go check on catastrophe.